How's it? I am Mr. Wheelie 19 coming at you here from the Second Amendment Show on the YT YouTube. I've been putting out some videos lately. Uh, most of them have been thank yous and, and shout outs, which I got to admit, those, uh, I dig doing them videos, man. I, I really do. But I like giving credit where credit is due, and, and I like to say thanks when I should. Uh, but it's about time that I start flinging some firearms related videos back out there. And I was kind of debating today, what should I do a review about? Um, I started clicking around on YouTube a little bit this morning and didn't see a whole lot about this particular little item. And uh, so I figured, what the hell? Do a quick tabletop review on it. And what the review will be on is, bam, the M6 Tactical Illuminator from Insight. I'm going to take a quick look at this. If you stand by for just a moment. Uh, we'll take a peek. This particular specimen is a bit rugged. He's been around the block, but we're going to go ahead and take a peek anyway. So stand by for just a moment and uh, we'll see what this guy's about. Okay, well here we go. This is my very first bench top review of a product, so please bear with me. Um, this here is the M6 Tactical Laser Illuminator by Insight. Um, I'm pretty sure this is probably the most popular tactical illuminator slash laser combination out in the market right now. And it's it's got a pretty good reputation for being durable and, and reliable. It certainly has for me. Uh, this little light and I have been through a lot together. And very little of it has been while the M6 was hanging underneath a gun. This illuminator laser combo uh, spends more time in my pocket than it ever has on a gun in actuality. but. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I paid $299.99 for this M6 right after they first came out. Um, this M6 is the big brother to the very popular Insight M3 tactical illuminator, which is the light only with no laser. Um, I've seen these things recently online for as cheap as 175 bucks but I didn't check eBay and I, I bet you can find them an even lower price than 175 bucks there and I've seen them online for as much as 330 dollars 330 bucks it's ridiculous for as long as this thing's been out anyway I paid 299.99 plus tax for mine so it's in excess of 300 bucks for me um, okay well let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside and see what we've got closer look at the box here again that hefty price tag okay as you can see we've got a very nice plastic box here this one spends most of its life in one of my range bags opening it up we've got an owner's manual which is actually very nice refreshingly it is all in English it uh, there's no Spanish, no French, a la NAFTA, and it's actually very good. Nowadays, so many owner's manuals are basically useless. Uh, this one, this is a pretty good manual, so that's one good thing about it. Okay, what else we got? Here in this little baggie, we will find a hex key, actually two of them, hex key, or Allen wrench if you will. And that's for use for the uh, windage and elevation adjustments on the laser component of the light, which I'll get to in just a moment. And of course, here's where the batteries rest when they're not in use. These are CR123 lithiums, batteries that I despise, by the way, but that's another story. Okay, the M6 here has a xenon bulb. Well, let's give you a look at this first. We'll look all the way around it here. Now the M6 here has a xenon bulb, which puts out about 90 lumens via those CR123s. Um, the beam for the tactical illuminator can be adjusted for spot or flood via the rotating bezel here, kind of. It's a bit sloppy in that area. Removing the bezel, 
you can see there's a very heavy o-ring here nice heavy o-ring keep moisture out and to help the bezel from spinning freely as which is actually the job of this spring helps the bezel from spring spinning freely and that goes right over the bulb there now I just noticed that spring does have some some pitting on it like I said this uh, this M6 has been put through some hard use you can get one full hour of runtime out of those two batteries running the light and the laser whose output is here one full hour of runtime with those two CR123 batteries um, the laser I just showed you the output from is a class 3A and I'm going to go old school for a moment here for those of you with backgrounds in electronics or electrical engineering uh, it is a, a red dot laser in the visible light spectrum it's red which would make it of the helium neon lasing medium type uh, being th class 3A its output is going to be around four to five milliwatts and uh, the wavelength of that helium neon type lasing medium will be around 630 nanometers give or take it's got to be right in there uh, you know one of these days I'm really going to uh, rehearse or script one of these videos before I go and open my mouth <laughs> but uh, the laser specifics are just top of my head but they are physics so I should be pretty darn close uh, the wavelength and power output specs I just gave you are good. I don't have to look at the owner's manual, read shit on the internet to know physics don't lie. 2 plus 2 equals 4, just the way it is. Okay, back to the laser. It's been my experience that using the laser in very low light situations, I can see its dot, or supposed point of impact, around, out to around 250 yards, maybe a little more. In bright daylight, I can pick up the dot at 7 yards max, if that. Indoors, in well-lighted conditions, uh, about 30 yards is about normal. Uh, speaking of point of impact, the, the adjustments for elevation is here and windage there using the aforementioned Allen wrench. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Oh, this particular light has only been used on 9 millimeter and 40 caliber pistols and it holds its zero like Captain Diarrhea 69 holds his schlong non-stop <laughs> a little shout out there for Captain Diarrhea 69 who's been under the weather lately <laughs> get well soon dude but seriously the laser has been zeroed for my Glock 19 for a couple of years now and I've never had to re-zero it I've taken it on and off the gun a kajillion times and that is done by what Insight calls their slide lock interface and basically it's just a spring loaded tension bar here that'll clip them to the groove on your accessory rail and we'll go ahead and take a look at that real and quick. And we'll take a look, quick look here as to how the M6 is mounted onto your gun for you crossing guards and hall monitors etc. Yes, this gun is empty just safety checked it but there's a second one for you just in case no I'm not gonna pull the trigger back I know a lot of clock fanatics you should always pull the trigger back well that's fine and dandy for you for me I make it a habit not to pull the trigger on a gun unless I want it to make a very loud noise and send a bullet down range okay uh, just show you the guns clear uh, I just don't randomly you know if I have to take down a gun and requires trigger being back then I'll pull the trigger. Otherwise, I don't pull the trigger on a gun and, unless I want to make a loud noise. Okay, anyway, so here we are with the M6. And it's real simple. Spring-loaded bar here. We'll click into the notch on your accessory rail. And just slides on like such, and we'll click into place. And get an ambidextrous switch right here. Up for momentary. Whoops down for constant on and it's ambidextrous if I move this over to where we get just the laser going oops I'm sorry that's both 
momentary on, click it up, constant on, and it's nice. You don't have to put your finger inside the trigger guard to operate it. And to remove it, you simply pull down the spring bar there, and it comes right off. Okay, this M6 has been dropped, kicked, thrown, and generally treated pretty poorly uh, for a very long time. And I've never had to re-zero it. It just goes right back where the dot is every single time. Now keep in mind, I mean, these things aren't magic. You've got to do your part. Proper grip, trigger control, etc. to make them rounds go where you put that dot. And it truly does take a little practice to shoot accurately using the laser when all you've ever known is iron sights. Now onto the back of this thing. Here on this back plate, the battery compartment is beneath. We'll throw a couple of batteries in there real quick. Now you can get aftermarket back plates. This particular one has a rocker switch. It's constant on in that position. Momentary going that way. You can get aftermarket ones that don't have the rocker switch. It has a earwood style coiled cord that comes out that terminates in a pressure switch. So you can mount the M6 onto a long gun and uh, mount the pressure switch wherever you need to to activate the M6. On the M6 here we have what's called a mode dial. First position there, not sure if you can read that, is off. Second position is viz which stands for visible laser. Let's see there. The next position is ILL, stands for illuminator, which would be your light. And the final position is VIS ILL, both tactical illuminator and visible laser light. So yeah, there you can see them both. Alrighty. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do a, a review on how bright the, the tactical illuminator is versus, let's say, a 3D cell mag light or a little stream light or anything like that. I'm sure you already know what you can expect from light 90 lumens. Let me just say, in conclusion, that I dig on the M6 tactical illuminator from InSight. Uh, yes, this particular one does spend more time in my jacket or my pants pocket than it does slung underneath a gun, but that's just fine with me. I can use the light to illuminate what I need to, and I've got a built-in laser pointer to say, hey, you see that coyote behind that rock over there? Over where? I can say, over there. Over where? <laughs> over there. You know, always uses a pointer, so it's a nice little light to carry in the pocket. Like I said, it spends more time in my pocket on the gun, but when I do put it on a gun, it it always performs fantastic for me. So either way, I do like this Illuminator laser combo and would recommend anyone who is interested to take one for a test drive and see what you think for yourself. And so there we have it. That is the M6 Tactical Laser Illuminator from InSight. And if you have any questions, feel, feel free to PM me. I am Mr. Willie 19 coming at you here from the Second Amendment Show on the YT YouTube, and I'm hoping that this video finds you and finds you well. Cheers.